channel Shanice here and today I'm doing a really quick styling video I'm recreating this look right here I did this look a few years ago and I decided to you know just recreate it I think this look is great for honestly anything you can just beat your face and be real cute and you know go to the movies go on a date go to church go to work I mean this style is honestly fit for anything or anywhere you're trying to go um, I think it's really cute. All It's really simple as well. So subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your support thus far. And give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you guys know the next time I drop another video. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see how I got this style, then please stay tuned. Alright you guys, here we are just getting ready to part our hair. We're parting our hair because we're taking out the top portion because we're going to be putting perm rods in it. So, right now all you see me doing is just perming, perming. <laughs> right now all you see me doing is just parting my hair out because I'm going to be actually twisting the two sides back. So after I have gotten both my parts separated, I'm going to be using this got to be glued and this just gets you all the way slicked together. Okay, this is what I'm using on the front portion. I'm just going to put some on the front and I'm going to brush that back a little bit and then I'm going to start twisting. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm just starting to do a flat twist to the back. I actually have a tutorial on flat twisting on my channel. If you guys would like an updated tutorial, just let me know. But I do have one on my channel and I can link that down below. But right now, all we're doing is just flat twisting to the back. We're going to do this on both sides and then we're going to pin it away. So here, like I said, all I'm doing is kind of tucking and we're going to pin away the two sides that we twisted to the back. And because my hair is so lengthy, I'm actually going to fold my hair over and make sure that I am tucking it inside the twist. We are going to be using my new baby, the main choice twist and gel. So this is all that I'm going to be using on the top portion of my hair. Now you see me just taking out my hair and we are just going to do a regular, not really like a twist and curl, but I'm actually going to just twist a few times at the root and then basically wrap the rest of my hair around the perm rod. As you can see here, like I said, I'm wetting it just a little bit, just a little bit. You don't want it too wet because you want it to dry. And like I said, I'm twisting a few times at the root and then I'm going to wrap that around the perm rod. And I've twist at the root because when you go to separate, it makes it so much easier. I've said this for years and it really does help you when you have 
any type of perm rod set or any type of twist anything. Just make sure you're twisting a little bit at the root because it helps separate and make everything look real cute. later we're back and i sat on the dryer for about an hour or so it was an almost two hours maybe but i did this just because i wanted to make sure my hair was completely dry you guys you'd never want to have wet perm rods that is probably a detrimental thing for a natural so i just made sure my hair was completely dry and now i'm just taking down the perm rods carefully <laughs> All right, y'all, so you can see here I have a little bit of oil on my hands, and I've told you guys before, oil is very important when taking down any type of rod set because you don't want to pull and have the frizz, so the oil helps to kind of give your hands a little slippage when you're taking down any type of perm rods or twists. And you're going to be very careful, and you are going to, like I always say, y'all, separate where the hair wants to naturally separate so, you know, the curls are really, really popping. So after we have picked to our liking, we're not picking too much, you guys, because this style does not need your hair to be super big at the top. I'm going to pick a little bit, and then I'm going to take some bobby pins, and I'm actually going to pin one side up because I want this style to fall to one side. I'm going to pin one of the sides up a little bit just to, you know, give the style a little something, something. I'm just going to continue to pin where I need a little bit more length. So I like to have a little bit of a bang with this style. So as you can see, I pinned it in the front. And then I'm going to pick a little bit more. And then we are almost done. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm putting a little bit more got to be on my edges, and that's it. Edges is slicked, hair is popping. You guys, this style is so easy, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys recreate this style, please let me know. I would love to see. But yes, just enjoy these slow-mos because, I mean, I enjoy them. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell for the notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.